everyone! I am so super happy to be back to planning and now I can film so yay! After a dissertation um, was handed in I could properly just Ah, just sigh of relief <laughs> and then yeah I can finally get back to planning. I truly miss this a lot. Um, throughout August I've barely been near my planners um, as the workload was so intense and things were going wrong so um, that really needed time to sort out but now that's handed in and I'm just waiting for the results and then um, graduation is in November which I'm very much looking forward to so yay happy days so here we have a new setup in this new planner this is the pocket rings from Foxy Fix in the original design so what I mean by that is it has the rounded corners it has the button closure and it has no back pocket now for this planner it originally actually for their pocket ring planners they originally come with 20 millimeter Krauss rings um, but Kerry from I Heart to Plan and another planner girl um, I've forgotten her name but she actually has videos up on her profile in the highlights they changed up um, the Krauss rings to 30 millimeter uh, pocket rings. Um, I found 30 millimeters on um, AliExpress. Carrie found a shop on Instagram, no, not Instagram, on um, Etsy that um, sold them. So you could check it out there as well. If you just type in 30 millimeter um, pocket rings, it should pop up. Um, on AliExpress, I'll see if I can find a link or just type it in. It's I would say it's quite simple to find after a few pages. Um, it let's see, I'm trying to remember how I did manage to find it on my phone and also through the website without going through a link. So um, hopefully you guys will be okay. But I'll see if I can leave some description down below as well. Um, but yeah, after changing it, it's such a game changer in this planner. Like the width of this planner is great for it. Um, I'm currently using a different size of insert um, in here, so definitely not pocket rings. I find that a bit too small um, now, so oh, oh well. Um, it's the size that Carrie managed to try out. So originally I was in um, A6 inserts printed at 89%, but the bulk of the inserts here they are A6 inserts printed at 86%. So the difference in that you can you could definitely tell because in the 86% you can fit side tabs and the pen quite okay. Whereas the 89% I could not fit side tabs at all. I had to always stick to top tabs because it would always bring it right up to the edge. So um, that's something to think about. Um, so other than this planner that can accommodate the 30 millimeter rings and the size of inserts, there's also a um, planner shop called the Chunky Planner who also sells um, 30 millimeter planners and there's also another one, I think it's Echo Claire, the one that Amanda mentioned in her video. I'll link Amanda's video down below. Um, she is Amanda Lee Plans. Amanda, have I got your name right? Oh dear. Um, but I'll, I'll link her down below. She also uses um, another planner brand and I believe Pelle is coming out with a similar width as well for her 30mm uh, um, pocket rings. So yeah, there's quite a good number of shops coming out with them as well to accommodate the size which is great. Um, so yeah. So as we go in here to the setup, we have um, this pretty pink bow from I couldn't think. This is the Fox and Pip Fox and Pip bow from Pigtails and Pockets. And then we've got this Coffee Monsters Co. die cut with her washi. And then we've got a Van Sticky die cut back here. This is a Fox and Pip um, die cut with the moon phase on there. And then this is again from Coffee Monsters Co. And this is one of her seal stickers that I just took off a birthday bundle. Um, this is an Ollie clip which I don't think they sell anymore um, due to a slight design flaw when I purchased them. I think they just stopped production. Um, this is a pocket sized dashboard from the Powder World but I actually trimmed it down a bit. Um, so I just use it as like a journaling card. 
This is a cute little note from Weishi um, who sells Light Fury and Night Fury pins and they're absolutely adorable. I think she also drew the kids and the three little children of the dragons and it's so adorable. I need to get that as well at a later date. And then this is a cute um, trim down of um, Create With Pens paper in her bundle that she re released recently. It's so cute with Tinta and the shooting stars. So adorable. So I've just popped that to the back as deco for the time being. If I ever need to use that as a dashboard, um, I can. Um, and also if I ever want to stick an adhesive pocket on there is also possible. That's why I left it blank. Anyway, so to the main body of the planner. So this um, dashboard here, this sizing is made at the A6 inserts printed at 89%. So it is slightly taller and slightly wider than these and um, then this insert. So you can see here, if I just line it up, you can see that it is slightly wider and just a pinch taller at the top and bottom. So you can see why if all these inserts in here were the 89%, it would just bring everything up to the edge and yeah, no side tabs would work. At least not for me um, and no pen as well. So um, changed up to here, so that's fine. Um, this printable here is from Paper Shire, who used to be called um, Toffee Bananas. Um, she's quite known for her flat lays, which I absolutely love. And then she made September a very purpley lilac theme. I absolutely love that too. If you join our Facebook group, that's where you can find the freebies um, of the digitals. And then on the right side here, we have this pretty acetate. This is from Madison Fox Plans. I absolutely love her shop. She does um, foiling on acetates and vellums. Um, I absolutely love her acetate, so I've just stuck to that. Um, and I also love her hollow foiling. So yeah, majority I've bought hollow. Um, I've been, I've been think I think I bought one rose gold and that's in a recent order. It hasn't arrived yet. Um, Whereas the rest is really just, I just have a thing for hollow now. It's just so pretty. I can't step away from it. <laughs> so stunning. Um, so that's that. And then I have this vellum sheet for actual pocket ring size, which you can see, hopefully, um, it is quite a difference. You'll also see at the back there, so it's fine um, to see the size differences. And um, this um, cute sticker is from my friend Sydney. I think she got it from Redbubble. Um, and then this is an oil slick kind of look um, acetate sheet and I've just put some Simply Gilded Washi on there. I did cut it a bit too narrow so I had to put it back together with packing tape but it's fine. You can't really notice too much so it's okay. I can live with it. Um, at the back here I've just got a cute little note. And then this little girl here is from Paper Kumako and then this shooting star is from Stumpy and Friends. So this is the actual pocket size inserts. You can see here um, it is a lot more small. It's quite small, <laughs> quite small. Um, so yeah, um, I can't go back to pocket size anytime soon. Um, but I, I do use some pocket size stuff in here because I don't want to waste it and I find it very cute. Um, so in here, um, it's the 10 miles of peach blossom artwork and also the manga at the back. I thought it was very fitting for this cherry blossom planner. And then I also have um, this cherry blossom washi from One Ton in a Million and also from Simply Gilded on her bows back here, stuck on the back of vellum. This is Sui, I believe. Then this digital is from Fox and Pip. It was a freebie um, on her Instagram. So if you give Amanda a message, you might be able to get a hold of it, maybe. So yeah, just pop her a message if you're if you're wondering about this freebie. And then just before the first section, I have an add to planner section. So this is whenever if I'm in a rush and I know I need to put something in the planner but I don't have the time to flick through it um, or I don't know where else to place it and I need to get the item done at a certain point I'll just pop it to here and then I'll I'll, I'll just take it off when I've done it which actually I have done the, these two <laughs> um, just quickly do that um, 
and then I've just got this sticky note um, here from Van Sticky. So these inserts are from um, Peanuts Planner Co. It's kind of like a checklist thing. Um, and then, oh, sorry. This sticky note is from um, Create With Pen. Then I have another um, acetate sheet from Madison Fox Plans. I absolutely love it. Now for Disney, I do love the Disney princesses more than the Minnie and Mickey, but seeing this like layout of the heads overlaying each other, I absolutely love it. Um, especially in the hollow. Of course the hollow is so pretty. Um, so yeah, just put that in there so you can see the design here as well. So this is a uh, digital um, from Fox and Pip and Sparkly Paper Co that I just put together in the um, silhouette program and just made a dashboard, um, a vellum cover. Then because I did order some dividers from Taipei from a uh, Taipei from Alexa, Taipei for Alexa, um, they're not arriving till I want to say late October time. So I've got a bit of time to wait. Um, for the time being, a friend suggested a Gemma from Plan a Life to Love. Um, she suggested me to put some tabs on clear acetate, and it's worked brilliantly. And this means I don't have. Uh, bulk up um, on the rings and this acetate I've actually found in Amazon a long while back like a long while back um, so if you just hunt on Instagram you can find it there easy um, the tabs are from Happy Scrappy and then the labelling is from Josephine Bow Designs so I really love that it's clear um, and I can see the designs under it. So yay for that layering. Um, and then all my cover, uh, insert covers are from Annie Plan Printables. Um, and then we have this die cut from Planners Anonymous, which was from last year's, I think it was the um, March kit. So quite some time ago. This is from Wonton in a Million. And then this insert here, this is the half year overlay um, layout, year at a glance. Goodness me, can't think at the moment. Just throw every single word at you. Um, it's from Justinia Printables. Um, I believe she has next year's up as well, so you could check out there as well. Um, I just put stickers there just to cover the months that have been done. Then this insert is from um, Alibi Design Studios. Um, I do love her layout here. Um, although it's small, I could still fit what I need on here. So you've got appointments, top goals, birthdays, special events, things I'm grateful for, which I really like to have there. Um, notes, to do's, and then a little monthly view. Now I don't use this side because I don't have num another month here, but this is how I use it as a layout. Um, one on the other or the other on like that. So yeah, I just covered up some details and also here. So this monthly insert is from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, and I just use these two together. So that's that. And then I have some to do's here for anything that I can't fit on those two inserts. I'll pop it on here and then pop the month on the top. Then I have this section, which is my weekly section that I've put in calendar. Um, I have a daily and another one, a main thing, I'll, I'll talk more about that in a moment. Um, but we have this um, design that I completely forgot where I got it. Um, I did find it on Etsy though, I don't know if she's still open. I'll let you know in the description. If I manage to find it or not, I'll let you know. And if she's shut or anything like that, I'll let you know as well. Because I'm pretty sure she closed her shop earlier this year. I'm pretty sure it was her. Maybe. I'll let you guys know. Anyway, it's a very cute design. <laughs> um, and then we have this acetate sheet. Now, the A4, I can only get so many out of one sheet. Now, these are slightly cut a bit narrower with what I had left. So what I did was I just put top tabs on it and it works fine. Um, so the again, the tabs are from Happy Scrappy and this is a cute die cut from Create the Pen. I've just kept it together with washi at the back. Then this weekly insert is from SM Plans. I love the layer of this. I've just covered up some details. Um, yeah, I just love the layer, um, a horizontal layout. I just prefer it when it is just pure writing. Um, 
and no stickers are involved it just works better for me for some odd reason I've tried horizontal layout before and that only works if it's a daily and if it's timed that's the only time other than that my brain just kind of goes no can't do it nope can't do it so this is why uh, this is probably why another reason that Hobonichi Weeks works pretty pretty well for me so yay um so yeah I really love um Sierra's layer of this and I love the pink accents um I believe she has quite a cup quite a few options um for the bottom section here um so do check that out um on her Etsy that's my weeklies filled in and then yeah we just got some sticky notes here from Green and Barrett one to a million um Elizabeth Alvite I think I've said her name right maybe for once I don't know Elizabeth you tell me anyway it's fine but um, I don't know if her shop is still open, but I'll link her down below. Um, and then I have this cute little digital as well that I created on Silhouette Program. The back stars are from Maker Mama Do, I think. Anyway, I'll list everyone I mentioned here. I'll try and list them all down below. If I've ever missed, if I, if I by chance, by accident, miss something, just let me know in the comments. I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and then these two digitals are from Box and Pip. Then I have this cute dashboard from Cat Espresso. It's got this cute little pocket at the back. So this is just the normal glitter one. Now I didn't know what to put in here via paper, so I just put some sticky notes here. Um, it's a very cute design, so I thought well, that would work very well. So the top one is from Paper Suteka. I think that's how you say her name. And then the bottom one's from Fox and Pip. And um, this girl is from the Powder World. And then at the back here, um, both of these sticky notes at the back are from Paper Suteka. This is from Fox and Pip. This is from Grin and Barrett. We've got another acetate sheet. This is my daily section. So this is split off from here because I use this section a lot uh, in comparison to daily. Daily in my rings only gets used if the day is too hectic and I need to get everything down exactly what I need to get done. So here I've just got a die cut from Fox and Pip and some sticky notes. Um, these tabs, I don't remember where I got them. I think it was Japan. Not really sure where. Um, this first insert is from SM Plans where it's timed from 8 in the morning till 8 in the evening. Um, this insert would have worked if I was still in uni. The times would have worked better. But at the moment, because I finished, I don't really have to wake up that early <laughs> um, for the time being. Um, so I've decided to put some daily inserts from uh, Infinite Lotus where the timings go here um, and it's really up to me when I want to use them. So yeah, I just thought this works a lot better. So the daily inserts, I have them in here just if I need to use it. If not, then I'll just leave it alone. And then after that, this is the other daily insert which I'm going to use as a memory planner as well. Um, if I ever fancy just using a different layout, I can do. Um, so yeah, sorry. This die cut is from Hello, um, Hello Paper Cat that I do have a coupon code for. And I also actually have a code for Cat Espresso as well, which is Rachel 10. Um, I'll leave the codes down below. This is again from Madison Fox Plans. This little sticker here is from Paper Suteka. This is from um, Planners Anonymous and also the March of last year's kit. <laughs> Quite a while ago. So you've got a blank monthly and then you've got these cute top little emojis from the Coffee Monsters Co. Um, yeah, I just thought I'll use this insert if I ever want to switch up my memory planning. Which sometimes I do want to, because after you get stuck to one style of memory planning, you kind of just want to just go out, have a crazy week in another planner, and then come back in <laughs> again, just to spice things up. Um, but yeah, then we have another dashboard from Cat Espresso. This is the Star Jelly with the normal, like the normal clear. Does that make sense? So I've got it here, hold on. So here we have the clear jelly um, and then we have the jelly with a scalloped uh, secretary at the back and this is slightly tinted pink. 
um, so yeah there are two styles there um, so I've got the clear one here and the paper at the back is from Happy Scrappy and um, this little bow here is from Once More With Love this is from Color Color Fly Me Color Me Fly Color Me Fly I think I'll leave I'll list it down below and this is again from Stumpy and Friends this cute little one is again from uh, the Coffee Monsters Co. This is a digital that I put together in silhouette. This planner one is from Fox and Pip. Then we've got a to-do section. I've put a sticky note here because I didn't want to write on the actual insert, so I'll write on the sticky note, um, but I haven't done that yet. So we have some to-do um, inserts. This one's from Alibi Design Studio. Then I've got, I think this insert is also from Alibi Design Studio. Um, we've got a separator again that says important and tab is from Happy Scrappy. So we've got more of those inserts as a random sticky note. And uh, we've got a routine insert and a master list insert. These two are from Infinite Lotus. This is from Fox and um, this is from Annie Plan Printables. Don't know why I said Fox and Pip. Never mind. Um, so that's that. And we've got a list there. This is from Van Sticky. We've got some cute Coffee Monsters Co vellum, which I absolutely love. I love the hollow um, foiling on there. And then I have this cute laminated confetti, which I've stuck a um, Foxy Fix adhesive on there, a side loading adhesive, card adhesive. Um, and then the paper at the back is from Prima, Prima Paper and that was from 2017 so I think it's the Rose Quark collection if you still find it I will say well done because <laughs> that paper is hard to find but it's stunning if you can find it um, and then I've got Paper Suteka, the little um, character here and some Coffee Monsters Co. This little die cut here is from Van Sticky that I got recently and then this is from Create With Pen. Then next up we have Projects and then these are also freebies from uh, Paper Shire's um, Facebook group um, in the theme of September. It is self care. And then we have this again from Paper Suteka. Um, so this is my PR kind of section that I haven't really filled in yet. Again, I'm still trying to move in, but I, some details I can't really show. So I've so some of them I've kind of held back on adding it in until after I film this video. So here what I'm planning to use this insert for is um, the shop's name, my favourite items from their shop and some of the examples um, of their stickers here. So I remember which one I was like, ooh yeah that one. Because I have so many sticker sheets from 15 Prill, I'm like I love them all and then you're trying to pick a favourite and it's like no this is very tricky so I'll probably put them here for easier access access there we go so that's what those inserts are for and then I've got the actual um, PR insert here um, again these inserts are from any plan printables so that's how I'm using that and then I've got a note section if there's anything else I want to add in regarding PR or maybe um, YouTube videos some ideas there um, the grid inserts here are from peanut planner co this is from One Ton Million. This is such a pretty digital. Um, this is from a Paperella story. Um, it's self-care themed and I absolutely love her detailing here. Absolutely love it. So pretty. And then I've got a this year section. So just like my other two setups in rings, the A6 rings and the um, hmm the personal wide rings. I had a section where I just list down this year's favourite songs, um, favourite movies, just what I've been, like movies that I've been to. So that I'm putting it in here. I just haven't fully set it up yet. Um, so that's for this year. So I've got a reading log as well, some sticky notes from Fox and Pip, makeup that I've purchased this year, notes. I do need to add more grid paper. Um, the notes um, is um, notes insert is from Alibi Design Studio. The grid insert here is from SM Plans. The back here we've got a Penelope and Friends um, in the Winnie the Pooh collection. Absolutely love her. She's adorable. 
And then another Cat Espresso dashboard. This is the blush um, tinted one. Um, I've got this Team Boba like a shattered glass kind of layer on top of this sticker um, from uh, Paper Kumako. And then inside I have this um, cute little pillow sheet from Pretty and Prim Co. At the back I have a small Van Sticky sheet here and then this cute little card from the Coffee Monsters Co. Then last section, we're getting there guys, um, is the home section, so personal stuff and just addresses and all that jazz that goes in here. Um, this cute little design of um, a guitar. This t-shirt is from Grumpy Bear Sticker Co. Um, the paints here is from another shop. Um, starts with something to do with coffee. I'll link them down below. I'll leave the name down below. Linking might be a bit tricky because some shops have their own website and some shops have their own Instagram. So I'll just show you the name and see what pops up. Um, so yeah, there's that. This is from CA May Draw when she did custom names. Um, and then this sticky note from Poi and Hun. We've got some routine inserts. This I'm planning to use for um, cleaning. <laughs> so I can separate my cleaning now. Um, whereas right now it's a right mess in my in my room. I've got to fix that. Uh, master list. Sometimes it's a wish list that I like to keep there. Um, reoccurring tasks. Um, so like bills, I would say, maybe. Or certain cleaning of sections of the house. Have I done it this month? Have I done it that month? That kind of thing. Um, just some list inserts, blank grid, just in case I need it for whenever. Um, mix of note inserts. And then this inserts for next year. So, I don't know, possible holiday ideas, um, birthday present ideas, because some of them have passed and sometimes you just forget what you want to get them and this could be the area for them too. So um, this cute little rainbow um, tab is from Happy Scrappy from the past kit, I believe, or the one before it. Um, so yeah, and there's grid paper. I got the grid paper from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, in her Facebook group. Um, it's a freebie there. And then this is Peanuts Planner Co.'s um, insert checklist because Sometimes you just lose track of which insert you purchased. You don't want to buy doubles. So this is an insert just to keep track of where and when. I just need to update it. Um, this sheet is covered because it's got my personal details there. We have contacts, which I have covered up. And then this is the contacts insert um, that I got from Peanuts Planner Co. And then here we just have a random galaxy paper theme there. Um, and this is another cute note. Um, we got some, we got Cassie from Van Sticky. Then this um, holographic dashboard is from Glitzy Trooper, and the two die cuts here from Happy Dea. Then second to last section, we're getting there. Um, this is the finance section, and again, this is a digital freebie from um, Paper Shire on her Facebook group. Um, this cute little. Um, sticker, vinyl sticker, is from one of the patrons, is it Patreon? Patreon? Um, that I've joined for a pin club. Um, so I'll leave I'll leave her name down below. It starts with an X and I don't really know how to pronounce it. Is it Zilin? Maybe? Um, but she's based in the US. Um, and if you're curious on the pins, I'm based in UK. I don't get custom fees um, when I am on her Patreon, whereas others I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, just a heads up. A yearly bill tracker from Peanuts Planner Co. Monthly bill tracker also from Peanuts Planner Co. Then I've got this income log and also savings log from List Lab. And um, these inserts you've probably seen on my other setups because I just really love to use them um, in the ring system. And I've got a shopping uh, tab there, spending tracker, and the online orders are also from Peanuts Planner Co. Master list is from um, Infinite Lotus, so these are probably going to be used for wish lists, that one as well, um, or probably for different family members. Um, and then that's the back. As for this here, I don't remember where I got it. Um, I actually got it quite some time ago, 
probably well over two years, probably three. I just found it somewhere. I remember I got it from Hong Kong. I just don't know where exactly from Hong Kong. Um, and try and have a hunt on either Etsy or Amazon. Something similar might pop up. Um, and then we've got this from Philofax and I've got this freebie from the Powder World like more than a year ago. I just like to hoard um, the sticker samplers because they're so pretty. Um, this little clear acetate die cut is from um, Happy Scrappy. Then we've got this cute little tab from Caspresso and this little girly from Elizabeth Alvi. No, Paper Kumako. There we go. That's a little girl. Then I made myself, uh, this is actually from a, a last setup. This is a self-made page lifter here with some mangas that I absolutely love. I love the cute scenes in this one. And then we're at the back, yay! We're getting there. Um, this is a pen from, um, is it Kaweko? Kawako? Kaweko? Kawako Sport. This is the coconut color. Um, or clear color <laughs> and then I've got this um, bell from Coffee Monsters Co again more of that acetate and then some laminated washi oh sorry too far a laminated washi there it's just a decorative piece we've got this cute little fabric um, element <laughs> from Happy Scrappy in one of our past kits. This is from Fox and Pip from one of our old collections. Um, and I've got this cute little strawberry milk from um, Bubble Moss Sticker Co. I'll just pop that back in. And then at the back here, I've just got a, another page lifter that I've crea created um, for, was it using um, confetti? Yeah, I just laminate it a couple of times and I've got this Van Sticky seal, sticker seal. So yeah, I thought that was quite cute to have there. And that's my flip through guys. So yay. So happy days. I absolutely love this planner. Can't wait to fully be in it now that I've filmed the flip through. So yay. Um, I don't remember if I mentioned, but this is light pink stitching and then a silver hollow on the embossings so yay absolutely love it i hope you guys enjoy that flip through this is a very long flip through for just one planner um but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed it and then i'll get on to filming the other ones <laughs> so yay i'll see you guys later bye